What's up guys, it's James from Basketball Noise here. I'm doing a review of Jess's basketball jersey collection. Not gonna lie, I had to Google who he was and too hype. They're not really on my algorithm, so I don't really see their stuff. Um, but you know, I probably will now, now I've searched for them. Um, so we're gonna look at his jersey collection. I've done another video on jersey collections before, and I've just said, you know, what I think you should really have in a jersey collection is like your favorite team jersey, favorite player, cult icon, random jersey, bandwagon jersey, rookie jersey, local jersey, fake jersey, and flunk pale jersey. So, you know, we'll give this jersey um, a rating out of 10. They're nine factors. So, like, the, the last one should be, like, a well, wow factor jersey. If they've got that, then we'll definitely include that. So, we'll get into the video. It looks like he's got a big jersey collection, so uh, it's going to be a good one to review and get started. Welcome, you beautiful faces, back to the gym. Okay, so that is a nice jersey he's wearing. It's obviously like um, a copy of like the Toronto Raptors one, but obviously they've made it for Bucket Squad. That is a nice like jersey that they've made there. Well, he's made. It's our channel today. I'm going to be showing you guys a jersey collection tour. I was doing my Reddit review for r slash Jesser, and there was a post requesting a jersey collection. So I got y'all. So let's just get it. Like, I'm jealous of Americans because you've got so much space. Like, here in the UK, we don't have much space. All my jerseys are really put into a, a drawer. I don't have space to hang them uh, because I don't really have space in my wardrobe. Uh, I'm not allowed space in my wardrobe. My wife has got it all. But um, I, I get really envious when I see all the jerseys hung up. One day, I will have that. And it started with the very first jersey. It is the Too Hype Icy jersey. I that's a nice jersey. Like I think that's that's a nice effect to have on a jersey. If I was a local sports team, I wouldn't mind having that effect on my uh, jersey. Love this jersey, super drippy. I love all the two I merch. Next up, we got my three million subscriber jersey. Three. Million. So that's off of like Will Farrell uh, semi pro. It's again, it's it's almost like a parody, isn't it? That they've used the bucket squad. That's like. Yeah, so we could almost put that as like a movie jersey. That could be another thing we could add. Still on the back, Bucket Squad on the front. This jersey is pretty much fully inspired by Semi Pro. Kind of like took their design, made it Bucket Squad. That's what I do with a lot of different Bucket Squad products. Just take something I really like and I'm like, I'm making a Bucket Squad version. And people are always like, how? Exactly what I said, you know, you just take the movie um, jersey and make it your own. Nice job. How is that legal? Just how the copyright works. Like you can do that. You can make parody clips. Just how the copyright works. I'm not sure about that. Like, I know you can get away with parody to a certain extent, but yeah, not sure about that. <laughs> then I got a Slovenia. Like, we know who this is straight away. This is Luka Doncic, right? He is going to be an absolute legend of the NBA. Touch wood, like, no injuries or anything like that. Like, yeah, that is, a, I, I think, a rare jersey to have, like a Slovenia one of Luka Doncic. That's great. Luka Doncic jersey, high key guys. I'm not even gonna lie, like LeBron's my favorite player. Luka's actually become my second favorite player. I'm sorry, all the other people are my favorite players before, like Blake, but Luka, once LeBron's gone, Luka's gonna be my favorite player. He reminds me. Exactly, LeBron's gonna be gone soon. Like LeBron's 36, like even if he keeps going to his 40s, he's gonna become more and more of a bench player. So having a Luka Doncic uh, jersey in your collection, tick. that's a local team jersey right there myself like if luca can be that baller i can be that baller next up another foreign jersey i got this jimmer for sharks jersey i didn't even know he played on this team but it's just such like an awesome jersey I such a random jersey to have like this collection so far has ticked off two things that is a completely random jersey to have in the collection i found and it was like 20 bucks so i was like why not cop jimmer fredette was a god in college too then i won this from one of zach's videos it was like win the challenge win the jersey i got this awesome james harden all white rocket nice jersey obviously harden's now at the nets um but yeah that is a nice jersey it's jersey the problem is i have an issue with white jerseys and it's nothing to do with how like they're made it's i'm just messy i'm gonna spill something down that is MVP accolades right there. Pretty awesome. The first ever two hype jersey. Now these weren't for sale. This was from our sneaker con game. 17 is my favorite number, so I got to wear that. Jesser on the back. I'm not the biggest fan of this jersey. I yeah, think the opening is kind of ugly. I'm not gonna lie. Next up, I got a super cool jersey, one of my cooler ones. This is one of my favorite jerseys. It's a little mellow ball jersey from when he played. Wow, that is a that is a unique jersey to have. Um 
a lamello ball jersey of uh nbl so from when he was playing in australia that is that is a find and a half in australia in the nbl this is just like such a dope jersey with like the looney tunes on the back lamello ball it's honestly a really cool jersey and on the back you can see like the design what do you reckon space jam 3 might have lamello ball could be on couldn't it like in white, you can barely see it. Yeah, this is a super cool jersey. Next up, St. Patrick 24. Do you know who this is? Kiri Irving. And, uh, well, what's happened to him at the moment? But yeah, let's see if I'm right. Let me know. It is Kyrie Irving's high school jersey. I don't think I've ever... Just before like anyone says it, my pronunciation of names and uh, brands like Nike is just... Um, I'm from England, you know, we just say things a little bit different um, to our American cousins. I won this one. Basically, I found a website where I got all these like weird foreign jerseys, jerseys like this, high school jerseys, and they were all like 20 bucks. They took like a month to come. I just caught so many from that website. If they're 20 bucks, they might be fake. Just going to put it out there unless they're like, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're probably fake. Speaking of that website, I also got this Bel Air Academy jersey, Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel Air's. Doesn't that jersey just scream the summer? Like, imagine wearing that in the summer. Oh, it'd be so nice. One of my all-time favorite shows. I've seen every episode. I just love the flowers on this. It's very flashy, very outgoing. It's just a vibe, this jersey. You don't have to hoop. You can just vibe in this one. We got the goat. I literally got Boitsky. this from a Jidel video. Guess the stat. Win the jersey. Dirk is an absolute legend. I love Dirk. I haven't worn this one. I just got it. Next up. What I love about, like, the Mavs is the story of uh, Jason Terry. The season they won the NBA, and in preseason he got a tattoo artist round to do tattoos as a team building exercise. And if you haven't read about the story, like check it out. But basically, Jason Terry got a tattoo of uh, the NBA trophy with that year on it. Like that is a big commitment to your team. Amazing that they won it. This is my most unique jersey in the entire collection. It is this weird Nike jersey. Now I actually bought this. In in China. Yes, I went to China. Nike actually took me out the Oh my word. This is awful. That's not official Nike. That is awful. China and they just had a random store. I don't remember what the store was called. It wasn't a Nike store, but they were selling this jersey and I was like, what the hell? This is the most unique jersey ever. I have to call. This is incredibly awesome and fire. Like this is the neck part, but it's an arm sleeve. Like the whole jersey is quite confusing, but it's it's tight. I love it. I do not love that. Like <laughs> the, the neck bit would just annoy me because you got a great big hole. Well, you got an arm hole on one side and then you got a smaller hole on the other side. Like, yeah, that I'm not a fan. Next up, we got my Ball is Life jersey nice. from the last Good Ball jersey. is Life game that nice I played contrast. in, number five. Just a simple, clean jersey. I got this All-Star Cavaliers nice. LeBron James jersey. So this is from when they played at Staples Center. I got a Celtics Kyrie Irving jersey, just a basic one. It's really dope, though. I like the colors, actually. I know everyone says two I've hates on the Celtics. I don't really have a problem with them. I just like hating on them for the memes, but this is a nice Kyrie jersey. <laughs> Next up, I played in another sneaker con game. I was on Dream Crew. Is that my name on the back? Laser this time instead of Jester. So this nice. must be an old jersey. We got a Blake Griffin. He has a lot of custom jerseys, but they're nice custom jerseys. They're, they're really nice. Griffin Detroit jersey. I had to get a Blake jersey. I love Blake. He's literally such an awesome dude. I've met him a couple times. He's always been just like the coolest guy ever. Like I'll never forget. I was at All-Star Weekend, the photo shoot. I saw him in the distance and he came up to me to talk to me. Cause like you can't just go and walk up to a player in those situations. You just don't do that. And when he came up to me, I was like, oh my God. Like that's the only way that you- Now that is super cool. And I totally agree with what he says. Like. If you see a player, like, you just don't walk up to him. You know, it's, it's kind of cooler not to walk up to him or anything. Um, but for him to come to uh, Jesse and talk to him, that's pretty That's pretty awesome. Uh, like, these two hype guys, like, literally, I, I, I done a brief Google. Like, I saw some of their views. Like, they're huge. So, that's awesome that they get invited to NBA uh, All-Star Games. That's, that's a nice perk of being a YouTuber, I guess gonna talk to them as if they come up to you i'm pretty sure i won this from someone's video it might have been james's i got a kevin durant brooklyn nets jersey i think this is one of the dopest brooklyn nets jerseys and on the sides got some stars going through this like we know what the dopest brooklyn nets jersey is and it's the biggie smalls one so um yeah like 
That's that's nice, but the Biggie Smalls one. Like, um, put in the comments what you think the best jersey is in this collection. Collection really makes me realize I don't wear a lot of these jerseys. Got a Giannis jersey. Giannis is one of the dopest players. He's one of my favorites. For basketball, I know I always say I'm a Clippers fan, but I'm definitely like a player first, team second type of guy. So, like, if I see a player I love... See, he's got it 100% right there. Like, in basketball, you follow the players around a lot more than you follow the teams, you know? Like, you, like I like LeBron. I think he's great. I like Luka Donich. Uh, I just think there's a lot more players you can follow. Like, you, you don't have to be associated with a team. Whereas, if you were looking at NFL jerseys, then NFL is all about the team. So, yeah, no, he's, this is a very valid point by Jessa. Love, that's what I'm watching. I got a Cleveland 69 jersey. Basically, at a 2K event, they asked for our number and name, and I didn't realize what it was for, so I put 69. Rydell, <laughs> people already know my last name. I was confused. I didn't know what... This is amazing. Um, I wrote an article about jersey numbers, so in case you didn't know, no one's really allowed the number 69. Uh, yeah, and there was one player who requested it when he moved to Dallas, and that was Dennis Rodman. And David Stern said, no, he can't have it. So uh, <laughs> it's quite funny that he's got this jersey. What would happen, and then all of a sudden I got a 69 <laughs> Cavs jersey. Next up, it is a Pelicans number 17. Do you know who number 17 is? It's no. me. It's a custom jersey. And oh. this <laughs> is probably one of my most expensive jerseys I've bought. I got from StockX. It is a Travis Scott nice. Leecher Report collab. It's so dope. It's very nice. I wonder how much that would cost on StockX. Like, you know, the prices, like, I've seen the Black Mamba jerseys on StockX, and they're absolutely, like, huge the prices so i wonder i wonder how much that cost and then on the back we got jack 01 top three favorite let me put my top threes over here yeah next this actually came in today i ordered this after watching the nice. last dance because i just became a way bigger michael jordan fan than i was how many people bought stuff after watching the last dance like i think there's so many people who are just like yeah i'm gonna buy it yeah makes sense because i never grew up watching jordan so once i saw the last dance it really made me appreciate way to make you feel old <laughs> like i was i how old was i i was 12 when jordan won uh his last championship so you know i was young him and i was like dude this dude's actually such a badass michael jordan rookie jersey is it rookie i'm pretty sure this is a rookie jersey but it's a very clean chicago jersey mitchell and ness so you know it's quality moving on we got one of my older jerseys chris paul clippers jersey you know it's old <laughs> next up the most dominant high school player of all time zion williamson spartansburg day high school williamson on the back this is probably in my top jerseys you're probably asking why is this bull why has he got a jimmy butler jersey like <laughs> See? Bulls jersey in my top jersey because it is signed by Jimmy Butler. Oh, nice. When he played on the Bulls, and I actually won this in a 2K tournament, and this was the reward for winning it, a signed Jimmy Butler jersey, which I think is just dope. Jimmy's such an awesome player, so this has to be my top because it's my only signed jersey. Moving on. That's awesome that he's got, like, um, a signed jersey. I wonder if he got, like, a certificate of authentication like that. Um, but that's pretty cool. Obviously, you'd want to keep that. You wouldn't want to sell it, but, you know. It's always good to have that certificate of authentication. And on, pretty sure I won this from one of James's videos. Shout out to James, my brother, for hooking me up with the jerseys from his videos. The Olin Bead Sixers jersey. We got a Kobe nice. Bryant nice. Lower Marion High School jersey. Rest in peace to the GOAT, the legend. Had to cop his high school jersey. I actually ordered like a Kobe All-Star jersey. And it hasn't come in like six months. But sometimes the NBA store just be tripping. So hopefully. Yeah, like, valid point. Hate to say it. Because I ordered a LeBron All-Star jersey, like a crazy expensive one. Then I realized I ordered it to our wrong house. So I never ended up getting it. And it What? Like, if that was me, I would be going around that house and banging on the door. Because someone's just got a free jersey. That's crazy. It sold out. So I was pretty sad about that. Next up, I got this USA Zion Williamson jersey. That's just really dope. Like, I absolutely love this jersey. It's one of my faves. Not top three, but it's one of my favorites. I wanted to get the Luca jersey. They had, like, one left. Chris found it before I did. I don't even know where I got this from. But, of course, I have a Lonzo Ball Lakers jersey. Why not? You need a good Lonzo Ball Lakers jersey. Yeah, no, that's a flunk player jersey. Like, I've got a lot of time for Alonzo Ball. 
Uh, I think he'd do a lot better at Pelicans than he would ever have done at the Lakers, but it's just a bit of a shame that it never worked out. And then, if you guys remember my basketball series years ago, I still have the yellow jerseys from it. It was a legendary series on no idea what his legendary series is but if someone knows then uh, yeah let me know on the channel i don't know why i kept them honestly i'm never gonna wear these. man he's got right, another rack. The first half. he's got another rack of jerseys oh this is amazing on. like i hadn't spotted the below rack that like i wish i could have that many jerseys i probably got about the amount at the top but our oh, second rack amazing on to the second half we have chris's giraffe gang jersey it's just a really dope jersey inspired by the grizzlies jersey at all-star weekend in charlotte i actually got this from the mitchell and ness booth it's a re that is a nice jersey like it's a it's a classic jersey that's lovely really nice michael jordan all-star jersey this might be in my top three this is one of my best jerseys for sure yeah, i'm gonna put, put it in the top three, three. i might top three. change it out won't put it there for now i got this ben simmons jersey right here low key this is my favorite 76er jersey i have like i just think it's so dope this is low key one of my favorite jerseys one of my go-to to wear like low key i don't know why i'm so in love with it like it could be a top three next up i have the blue three mil bucket squad jersey oh, yeah. i was doing a live stream for jsr and the fans voted between the white jersey, and the, semi -pro. jersey and the white jersey made it but they still made a blue sample jersey so i have it i could release this maybe i could talk to them i got a paul george George Clippers jersey, Paul George, one of my favorite players. Pretty much all. Pandemic P, go have the jersey. The All Stars, like everyone on the All Star team except for like Kyle Lowry, it's like my favorite players. Another Paul George jersey, I got this when he was on the Thunder. He's a beast. Paul George, dope player, dope guy. Playoff P, he choked last game in the playoffs in Game Two, but hey, he's about to pop off. I think the match. That didn't age well, did it? Mavericks are going to win that series. Mark my words. And then I have a New York jersey. I didn't even know I had this. I have a Porzingis. I was like, who is this? <laughs> I got a Porzingis jersey. I don't remember when I got this, but I like Porzingis a lot too. So I got his jersey. Like, if I think you're dope, I might cop your jersey. Then one. Like, the Knicks must sell so many jerseys because, like, you know, they're the richest NBA team. And oh, I, I, the merch they must make uh in like sales like the money sorry rather than merch the money they make in uh merch sales just must be huge one of my favorite jerseys to wear is this ucla westbrook jersey i like that the c is white nice. just a cool jersey to have like they don't really sell college jerseys of players so being able to buy one of these is pretty cool i got it from that website i was talking to you guys about i don't remember the name just look up westbrook college jersey and you can probably find it one of my cooler jerseys this miami vice the miami vice jersey i absolutely love them Oh, they're just so nice. Dwayne Wade jersey. This jersey is absolutely sexy. Very beautiful jersey. One of my favorites, honestly. That's got to go top three. I love the Miami Vice theme they got going on. I think it's one of the dopest things. Moving on, got this from a uh, guess the stat win the jersey. Otherwise, I probably would never buy a Jokic jersey, even though he's dope. It's a city jersey, so that's pretty dope. So I'm kind of happy about that. That's not a big. The city jersey is also the nicest range like anyone's done. Basic. Then moving on to match with the PG jersey, I got the Kawhi Leonard, the Claw jersey. Bro, you gotta love Kawhi. Like, who doesn't like Kawhi? He's just such a meme. There was a video the other day of him walking into the game, and he had his iPad up just on the home screen looking at nothing, so he didn't have to have human interaction. He's Man, like, if I was an NBA player, I wouldn't want human interaction. I'm just gonna go and play a game, and, like, I'm about to start warming up or whatever, or I'm just walking to the dressing room. I don't want to talk to reporters or anything like that. However... I'm not an NBA player and no one wants to talk to me anyway, so <laughs> I've got the best of both worlds. So relatable. All right, then another all-star jersey. I'm pretty sure this is LeBron James. Yes, it is. The GOAT. Got another UCLA jersey this time. You already know number two, Lonzo Ball. He was a beast at UCLA. Had to cop his jersey. UCLA is my favorite college team to root for. So that's why I got all the UCLA jerseys. All right, then next up, that same website had this. So I was like, I'm going to cop. It's like 20 bucks. I got the degree. The same website he's talking about must be DH Gate. <laughs> it must be. Assy Drake jersey. I don't even know if they had a jersey in the show. I'm going to be honest. I didn't watch the show. I'm just a Drake fan. And I was like, I'll cop the jersey. Why not? That's pretty. If anyone knows what show Drake was in, like I can Google it. But uh, 
Let me know. Again, random jersey. What does this say? Dude, Punahou? 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 It's a Barack Obama jersey, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty That's sure he played maybe one year. I know he went to high school in uh, Hawaii. So I got his Hawaii jersey. <laughs> Gotta represent the GOAT president. You know what I'm saying? After that, just a really dope LeBron James Lakers jersey. It's just a clean jersey. I like but I just feel like, I know everyone's banging on about the Nets at the moment, but I just feel like LeBron is going to get another championship with the Lakers this year or next year. I think this year, to be honest, I think they're going to go back to back. Like how they did it a lot. The next jersey is the jersey I am wearing. Nice. I think this is the sample. This is the real one. Yeah, it's just a bucket squad jersey. Really clean, really cool. It's inspired off the really Raptor jersey. jersey with the text, but I had my own little monster. I absolutely love this jersey. I think releasing jerseys for me, like my own merch, is one of the coolest things. Like my favorite pieces of merch are definitely the jerseys I've released with this one and the bucket squad one. Moving on, I'm pretty sure this was another guess the stat video i've gotten a lot of them chamberlain jersey shout out to jidel what are these guess the stat videos like i need to get on those because like the amount of jerseys he's got from from just guessing a stat is amazing it's the clean jersey got this metro jersey did a brand deal with them says jester on the back just i like to keep any jersey i have just for the collection like it's just a moment moving on we got a De'Aaron fox jersey De'Aaron fox is the man sacramento clean jersey you gotta love the Aaron fox after that we got another sneaker con always wear my favorite number 17 this is probably my favorite that's a bit loud for me i i could not pull that off sneaker con jersey it says laser on the back so yeah this one's a bit older too but i actually really like the design with the city on the bottom with the fade i think it's really clean next up this is also i know i say this a lot one of my favorite jerseys the <laughs> these are just far too loud i could never wear these I got this Russell Westbrook Rookies Phoenix 2009 jersey. Yeah, they were just selling this at one All-Star weekend, and I was like, yo, this is dope. I'm definitely copping. I think this jersey is really cool. Moving on, I went to Orlando to do stuff with the Orlando Magic, so I was like, I gotta cop an Aaron Gordon jersey. He's the man, so I got this cool little jersey from their store inside their stadium. All right, then this is, I know I keep saying this, one of my favorite jerseys. It's the Bel Air jersey that I found it on that website, and I Luca wore a fit with like a full fit with this design the next it's just i i just i just can't pull it off <laughs> uh i've got like a t-shirt suntan and i yeah uh, it's just not gonna work Bucket Squad drop. I'm gonna tell y'all, JSR, it's gonna be this, but Bucket Squad. Like, I just think this is so clean. I wanna make a Bucket Squad version of it. This is what the next Bucket Squad drop is gonna be inspired by. At All Star Weekend, they were selling this Monstar nice. Space Jam jersey. Strong. Had to cop. It doesn't have a name on the back, just number zero in Galaxy print, which is fire absolute fire that's dope i also do have a couple jerseys at the two hype house but it's really not too much maybe like six i got this old warrior steph curry jersey the reason i got this was i bought it to do that's nice and they brought back the oakland version this year so that is a, a nice warriors jersey. themed basketball challenges video and i had everyone wear steph curry jerseys these ones in particular i got these ones because it was all that they were selling but it's the mitchell and ness so you know it's nice next up is my Giannis jersey now i don't know where i got this jersey it might have been from i guess the stat win that jersey but it's always nice to just have a clean Giannis jersey i love the bucks logo too i think it's really fire we got a steve nash jersey yeah. steve nash one of my favorite all so the gold um the gold emblem was for the anniversary uh, i think it was either the 50th or 75th anniversary of the nba being established that's what i had the gold all tom point guards they need to bring this jersey back because this jersey is absolute flames i love how the ball like goes across the jersey this is fire of course i got to have a zach randolph junkyard dog jersey i've had this jersey forever can tell because it's adidas junkyard dog on the back me and my mom gave him that nickname it's just uh this is a nostalgic this is a throwback uh, he's like, <laughs> adidas is a throwback <laughs> I, I remember when reebok were making um jerseys and champion were making the jerseys that jersey when i was in chicago i stopped by the phase booth i traded them some bucket squad merch for a phase clan jersey and honestly face swapping jerseys like yeah if you've got stuff you want to get rid of and you get something you want then you know that's the way to do it clans merch with champion is really awesome like the collaboration they do together is amazing and this is just a really awesome jersey to have I've got a Brooklyn Nets Kyrie Irving jersey. Nice. I like to wear this jersey more than a lot of the other ones just because I think it's really clean with the black. I like wearing it over a hoodie. It looks good. Now, I, I hope Kyrie comes back and just starts playing because, like, 
seeing Harden, Durant, and Kyrie together is just going to be amazing. This was a custom jersey. It says Bucket Squad 2 height. I don't know. This jersey is a little strange. It was custom made. They had a boost for it that they were making jerseys like this. The other side's a bit cooler, though. The other side is definitely a mess. It's just combinations <laughs> of Bucket Squad and 2 That's just like a really bad reversible. You know when you go to like basketball tournaments and they give you a jersey, that is what you get basically. Life looks a little better on the back. I got this Giannis All-Star Black jersey, except it got completely peeled. I think I overwore this one. It's falling apart, so I don't really wear it anymore. Man, I've never seen a jersey do that before. That is crazy that it peeled off like that. That is, I've never seen that. I lost the eyes, lost a couple different things. But I definitely like this one better than that all-white LeBron all-star jersey I showed you guys earlier. The black ones are definitely way cleaner. I was in a Bleacher Report game. They gave me a jersey from it. Jets are on the back. You know what it is. I didn't get many minutes that game, honestly. But I got the jersey to keep. Another 76ers jersey. Nice. Joel Embiid. I like Embiid. I think he's a really dope center. That's a nice jersey. Another Giannis jersey. Every time it's All-Star Weekend, I cop a Giannis jersey, it seems. Just a clean All-Star Giannis jersey. And the thing's actually not peeling, so it looks beautiful. The final jersey in my collection is a King's Jesser jersey. Jesser on the back, 17. You already know my favorite number. And that is my jersey collection. Wrapping it up, the top three. Probably the Jordan jersey, the signed Butler jersey and the Cactus Jack jersey, or honestly, it's the Bucket Squad jerseys. You know, those are obviously first. These are all behind that's, the that's top a, three. Let me know what jerseys I should cop. That is a strong jersey. Like, that is definitely a strong jersey collection, top three jersey collection. If I was rating that out of 10, I'd say his jersey collection is like a 9.1. Yeah, 9.1. I think he's got some quality stuff in there. Uh, let me know if there's any jersey collections you want me to review. Uh, and uh, yeah, any comments on uh, Jess's jersey collection, just put them down below.